What is going on fam? Welcome to a new video. Today, I get to go back to the gym. I get to train again. I get to feel what the weights feel like. Now, I have been training, but I haven't actually gotten a really good workout in a long time. I've been sick, I've been traveling so much, and I'm feeling about 92% better today. I feel like we just need to take advantage of this opportunity. We're gonna take you guys through a lift and see what the day brings. So right now, I just made breakfast, egg whites, some cheese, we also have some bagels with some whipped cream cheese. So watch a little bit of YouTube's Ghost just Ghost just posted a new one. This is what it looks like. <laughs> nice, that's me. <laughs> I might be going to Lifetime to get a new membership there, um, just so I have a different different gym. We could talk more about that, but. Let me eat. Before we head to the gym, I have a million packages. I haven't checked my mailbox. If you know me, I don't check my like mailbox mailbox like maybe like once a month. I think there was a period of time where I was really good at it and now, no, there's so much. It's like this much. We found a random package in there too, so. Let's see what we got. Open up the one from Ghost first. I feel like I think I know what this is. Another tub of the Sebum collab. Check that out, it's pretty sick. I'm gonna be drinking that today. Then the fish oils, which these actually drop on Wednesday. A uh, brand new formula, V2. We had fish oils before. Um, they came back with a lot better of a formula. I don't really know too much about this stuff. I just know that it's better, so. And then we also have the new shaker of the month. Personally, this just reminds me of the Chicago Bears. I don't think that's what the colorway is, but to me, that's what it reminds me of. Pretty sick. Another Hydra Jug bottle, but I think these are, I don't know if I'm supposed to show you these, honestly. You're about to see it, so I'm either gonna get yelled at for showing you, or surprise, I don't know. Hydra Jug is coming out with freaking shaker bottles. They're beautiful, they're gorgeous, they're just like if you had a normal shaker bottle, like said, said blender bottle. Now you have two different options. So you can just do a normal shaker bottle where you have the similar lid to the OG bottles. Ooh, and oh, this is interesting. So. They have this in the inside, which is different than like a normal shaker, but that's their form of a shaker. You could take that out and you could put this on, which is just a flat top. And then you could just put your straw in that beer's niche. Now you're good to go. This is actually really aesthetic. This is super aesthetic. When are these dropping? I'm guessing in August, I wanna say. Now you freaking know. It also has the measurements in the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. This is 20 ounces. I actually really like this. We don't have the shaker ball that fucking goes crazy that we hate so much. What do all of these blender bottles come with? A fucking blender ball. We don't like blender balls in this house, so. That's now a cat toy. First look, first look, Kalo saves you 10%. Now I have no clue what this is, if I'm being completely honest. Oh my goodness, this is the miniature version of my big duffel. Okay, so this is the big one. You guys saw this like a few videos ago. And now we have a little shoddy to our big shoddy. Are you kidding me? I'm obsessed. Get right there. Um, and then it has the two little outside pockets, but this is so, this is so cute. I love it. Kalo saves you 10% on Vure as well. So yeah, I did not know that was gonna be a whole sponsored clip, but but you just experienced it with me. So now we're gonna get dressed for the gym. We're gonna try some sebum favage. You guys are gonna try it first with us. And uh, yeah, we'll see you there. No. Ooh. Got the new bottle. 10 ounces of water, roughly, because there's ice in it too. Trying this bad boy out. See what it's 
see what it's about. For caffeine wise, so that's what most of you guys are concerned about. One scoop's 150, two is over a little over 300. Now I know what you're thinking, Kayla, where can I buy that? You, I don't, I don't think you can. So I'm so sorry about that. But uh, instead, you could do this experience with me, and you can act like you have this at home. So that's a big ass tub for so little product. There's like no product in there. I don't know if they just wanted a big tub because of the like. There's so much going on on here, which is sick. Like it looks cool, and it's really a cool collab in regards to like how they did, um, you know, the cross branding. They did a great job, in my opinion. So now we got to see how we feel about the formula. Definitely not a ghost scoop, right? We know ghost scoop is red and ghost scoop is always at the top. So this is a, this is more of a uh, sebum, will I say, uh, bottle. It smells really good. It smells like a uh, Miami Vice. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Smells great though. <laughs> Not me having white powder. Oh. Let's see what we think. Let's get a little zoom in there, action. It reminds me of like a Capri Sun. But it also reminds me of like a, a fake strawberry banana. But also, maybe I put too much water. Maybe 10 ounces is a little too much. Maybe I need eight ounces of water. So that's my bad. But the flavor is pretty light. It's pretty light flavor. Miami Vice, I don't know what Miami Vice is supposed to equal. My, I would think tropical. Um, it has a Capri Sun vibe. That's what I'm thinking. So let's head to our new gym. And uh, we're gonna talk about why I'm, why I'm going to a new gym. We're gonna talk about my feelings about Alpha Land, and uh, you guys are gonna get a little bit of upper body workout, so I'll see you at uh, my new gym. All right, we just pulled up to Lifetime, and I just got a membership, but if I'm being honest, it's already full of like young kids, and I don't know how I feel about it already. But um, yeah, let's just get into this workout. Eventually we'll discuss. In regards to the C-Bum pre-workout, I am uh, feeling a little uh, <laughs> buzzed because of the beta alanine. But we're gonna embrace it, so let's get this lit. I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble for filming here. Do a reps again. I gotta pee really bad. <laughs> we're gonna pause at the bottom. There you go, attention. Think out, out. Yeah, there you go. I'm so hyper focused right now. I feel like I just took crazy drugs. Two more. Two more. Whoa. Crazy, my dog. Crazy. My traps always want to get involved. Like sometimes I be getting a trap pump. There you go. And squeeze the handle as hard as you can at the top. You heard the man. Good. Uh, just a little fun in the motherfucking sun. Balls at the bottom. Explode up. There you go. Squeeze as hard as you can at that handle. There you go. Good. Fine. Good. Get on the way down. Literally squeeze it as hard as you can. Let's go. Got three more. Up. Up. Ten. Two more. Squeeze. There you go. One more. Don't lose tension. Squeeze as hard as you can. The handle. Go. Go, 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 go. All the way, all the way. Hold it. Good. Uh. This pre workout literally has me. I'm sweating. It's the beta alley. This is fucking me up. It's the itch. It makes you sweat. Gives you like anxiety. <laughs> so, you're Holy. This is why I don't take pre -workout. Actually, I like this feeling, but I feel like I'm gonna savor this pre-workout for when I really just fucking need someone to like, punch me in the face, but no one can. I'll just take the pre-workout. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Update. 
I legit feel like I'm on another planet okay. in this workout. It's gonna be the death of me. So my first workout back after being sick. And let's just say that I have nothing to say. <laughs> Similar adjustments. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. Beep up. Beep boop up. All right, cool. So as soon as you get to the top, just go straight into the next one. Six, eight, ten. Anywhere on there. Okay. Is my seat good? Drop it low. I feel low. That's where you want it. You want the starting position to be slightly above your delts. You don't want it to be like way below. Starting position slightly above your delts. <laughs> Pause. Explode up. Good. There you go. Good. Keep tension at the bottom. Good. Keep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lock it out. Lock it out. Good. <sighs> no, we're not using it. We're going to use it in about five minutes. That's not how it fucking works, my guy. I'm sorry, bro. That's not This guy is just setting his equipment on here, like marking his toy toy like a fucking dog. <laughs> we don't like lifetime now. That's not how this works. How many sets of this? Just two sets? What's your reasoning for two sets, sir? So, technically, okay. we wear the third set, the fourth set, the fifth set, way too much fatigue accruals, and you have to use a lower weight. You know, there's a certain point where more volume is always going to be more negative than positive. So. Ask him a question, you get a 10 minute answer. <laughs> this fucking shoulder bump? You see this fucking shoulder bump? That fucking guy want to fight about that machine? I'll fucking... Yo, me and Lifetime, not on good measures already. But uh, hopefully I never see that guy again. A little bit. Where, what part of my body are you telling me to scoot back? So you can like this. Oh. Okay. okay. One sec. Explode. Yeah, there you go. Good. I know, but you told me to lower my elbow, so... No, try it. No, no, try it. Go ahead. Try it the exact same way you did that. Push this out. This way, yeah. Mm. It feels so much better on my left. My right's just a yeah. piece of shit. I tore my labrum in my right shoulder and had tons of shoulder problems from soccer and drunk mistakes in college. Do you see me? <laughs> no, I just want to walk past it. Actually, you could just take the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, guys. My name is Dan. This is, this is my vlog. Hey, Dan. Get the fuck off my channel. <laughs> so what I, I have a lot of shoulder injuries, specifically on my right shoulder. So because of that, it's just a weak little bitch, and it gives out a lot. So if you ever watch me pose, I usually am like this. Or if I'm doing any shoulder moments, moments, <laughs> movements, you'll see my shoulder start to give out on one side over the other. You'll see weakness on one side. It's usually my right shoulder. So. RIP, take care of your take care of your joints, kids. Ask me about the show about the set thing again. What set thing? What I was just talking about. Oh, is there anything you'd like to add? Oh, is there, oh, there, oh, is there anything else? Is there anything you want to add? Oh, Coach? You asked, I'd love to tell you guys more. <laughs> what do you want to tell? Please don't no, make it 10 minutes. I, I, I don't want you guys to think that, like, oh, if I if I do any more than two sets, like, that's going to be horrible for me, like Dan says. So, like, no, no. Okay, understand that on paper versus, you know, in practical application, we've got some differences, right? Sometimes people just, whatever feels kind of best and whatever works for you, do that, okay? Even yeah. though on paper, it shows shows that anything more than two sets is kind of pointless because your fatigue is so high you can't use the same amount of resistance and again when we talk about hypertrophy like what do you want like what actually is the grower and focusing of enlargement of muscle cells it's force and how do you put the most force is by using the most weight and going to the hardest intensity point right to failure so Again, just understand that, you know, how many of you guys are actually training to pure failure? Like, you guys probably think you are to some degree, and you think you're training really hard, but I promise you, you can probably train way harder than you are, and that's what we mean by only two sets. If you're training the hardest that you possibly can, anything more than two sets is kind of pointless. But if you're going to like two to three RIR, or you're, you know, not training as hard as you think you are, then yes, potentially adding more sets to accrual a certain amount of volume, a certain amount of intensity can work, you know, but but, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't, whatever works for you. That, that's really the best case scenario here. You know, well, one more question. Have you ever answered a question in like 30 seconds? No, never. There's okay, so many thank you. That's it. No more sure. Thank you. <laughs> Not the best angle, but this is the angle that you're going to get. So shut up. We moved on to the titties. We did three shoulder, one titty, one try, and then we cut it. There you go. Squeeze the bottom. Keep going. Keep going. 
go. Let's go. Good. One second pause. Explode. Good. Keep full lockout. Full lockout on this one. All the way. Full range. Good. Oh. My titties. Do you feel that shelf? <laughs> feel that. Is it up top? Wow, look at that. They're going to set a water, water bottle, bottle on that suckers. bitch. Watch out. Here we go. Wait, wait. <laughs> Not sponsored by Evian. <laughs> <laughs> get us out of here. We're gonna get kicked out. <laughs> Shelf chest. Check one. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's go. Let's get serious. Oh. What are we in here for? To grow, right? Ooh. Grow titties. All right. All right. This is our la my last set. Last set, yeah. Two working. Set. We're gonna do a rest pause on this one, though. Okay, so pause at the bottom. Squeeze hard at the bottom. Come on. Ten. Two more. Up, up. Drive, drive, drive. Good. One more. One more. Uh. Last one. Drive, drive. All the way. Come on. Let's go. Good. Right, pause for ten seconds. Holy fuck, dude. Yeah. Good. Two. Come on. Uh. Slow the negative. If you're training, realistically, if you're training that hard, there's no way you're doing more than one set of training that hard. Two sets, two sets. There's no way. Well, that's the thing. You can either do more volume or more intensity, but technically more intensity has been proven time and time again to enable the most hypertrophy, the most enlargement of muscle cells. Volume is good to a certain extent. Once you get the certain extent that you want, anything more than that will not give you more results. That's the problem. People think that more volume is better. It is not. It is a little bit proven against it time and time again on paper that it is not a producer of hypertrophy at all. That's it. Put, your, uh, put this through your wrist and then just grab that. Yeah, like just a warm up. Or is it too heavy? It's close, really close to it working, I would say, almost, maybe. I feel like a Wolverine, sorry. Okay, lean into it, slightly. Okay. Bend over. Arms at your side, so the arms are literally gonna be, yeah, so you have to keep your elbow in line with your shoulder. There you go, okay. That feels good. Let's get back a little bit more. Tell me what you want from me. I'll do it if you say so. This is the new top dropping, August 6th. It give, the muscles come with it. Drink your water. Come on. Squeeze. Come on. Explode. Come on. Keep going. Good. All right, lift was really good. Um, obviously having, is that sweat or is that water? Especially having Dan here to help like push me because I like, we've just been discussing my opportunities with competing. Um, obviously you guys know Dan is my coach. So um, I don't know, I've started to like feel this burn in my soul to compete lately. But realistically, when we look at my schedule, wouldn't really be able to start a prep until probably 2023 because I am pretty much booked for the rest of the year. It's just not optimal, especially if I want to enjoy life. Um, I don't want to put that pressure on me. I want to enjoy this phase that I'm in with this traveling phase. I'm looking pretty good. We need to actually build my food up properly before we talk about anything, honestly, because I never really have. Um, we have to have consistency, et cetera, and I'm not structure. willing to, yeah, structure. I'm not willing to commit to that with the current phase in lifestyle I'm in because I'm enjoying it. So that's what I feel, but overall great workout. Hopefully you guys took something away from it. I'm uh, gonna go grab some stuff from Whole Foods. I'm feeling like a smoothie. Like I really want just like a healthy smoothie. So we're gonna grab some fruits or whatever. Maybe my mind completely changes when I walk in there. I don't know, but right now I want a smoothie. And then uh, I'll show you guys what I whip up. And then we're gonna see uh, the movie Nope. So I will give you guys a full review on that. Um, but uh, yeah, see you at Whole Foods. All right, we got these two snacks. This is, this is legit baby food. I didn't realize that. I was looking at the macros, I was like, wow, this is crazy macros. It's baby food. Lil Puff's strawberry beet. Let's try them. Smell like nothing. 
It doesn't really have much taste. A sweet potato apple. These are better. These are a lot better. You done? No. Okay, I can't show you because I'm not wearing clothes and I'm about to jump in the shower. But um, just grabbed this milk from Whole Foods. I used to have good caramel milk all the time, actually. Um, and it's actually really good. Those are what the macaronis are looking like. And then we're doing one scoop of Ghost Whey, which I don't drink protein often, but when I'm just low on protein, I always do. And I know that we're about to go to dinner, so a scoop of this will do me good. 25 grams of protein. You have it right there. This is just an extra. This is from that. So that's what that is. But got about 10 ounces or eight ounces of that milk. We're gonna put this bitch there. Shake and bake. And we'll see you later. All right, I'm gonna talk to you guys really quick about why I, I obviously I just signed up at a new gym. And the reason for it is because if you guys have been watching, you've been seeing that I've been struggling with anxiety in the gym a ton. Recently had, you know, my past two workouts, I did not have anxiety, which is awesome. Um, but especially today, it was fun. There was a little bit of an issue because more of public gyms, I feel like there's just, you're always gonna run into people who just, they're just, it's different type of people. And I just, it's harder when it comes to filming and stuff like that. But when I'm having anxious days, I'm usually not filming anyways. So I feel like me having a new membership and an opportunity and an option to go to another place makes it a lot easier for me to gym when I'm having anxiety. So that's the reason why I have the membership now at Lifetime, just to have a little bit of both. So yeah, so if you're someone who's struggling with anxiety in your current gym, find a new gym, find multiple gyms, whatever you could do, work out at home, right? We don't always have to have these heavy equipment to get a good lift in. Sometimes you just move your body, just move um, on those anxious days. So that's my tips there. Um, we got a package in. What do you know, guys? We have a new pair of shoes. <laughs> I, did not, I did not mean to win these. I just somehow won them. So um, I don't really have a like, I don't really have like a red, red pair of shoes. Actually, I do. I just fucking lied. I'm looking at them. I don't have a red pair of... Actually, I'm lying again. My first pair of ones... My second pair of ones was the red and black. I'm lying. I do have a pair of red ones. But these are very different. You're like, how are they different? Beats me. But they look different. So take a closer look at them. They're gorgeous. I like that the tongue, it's like a different material. If you could really look closely at that. It's a completely different material than a normal, like typical one is. And then I like, this gives me like varsity letter vibes, like the material there. See how it's like raised, but it's, it looks like a varsity jacket letter, but on the Nike symbol. I didn't have to pay a million dollars. I just paid retail for them, which is about, I think 170, uh, which is good for a pair of ones. I usually pay, you know, over 200, 250, 300 for one. So I think this was a good steal. And I like the difference in material. I don't know if I'm gonna wear them right away. I might just sit on them, but I don't think the price on these is going up. So I don't think there's a high demand for them. So. Hello. What's going on? It's the next day. Last night, I ended up going to dinner. Got a stick and lobster and I'll have pasta. Sir, pasta? It's actually really good. I always go to Perry's and I always get the same thing and I felt different. So I was proud of me for that. So clap it up in the chat. Changed it up, it was really delicious. I ended up at towards the end, not eating the pasta, just picking out all the meat. Sounds about right. Protein. Yeah, did that and then went and saw the movie Nope. It was very weird. Now, I wanna have a conversation about it really quick and I want you guys to leave a comment down below if you have seen it, what your thought process was of it if you have any thought process of it, because it was fucking weird. I thought I would leave there having a more like deeper understanding of some something. Like I thought I would leave with something, but I just really felt like I left with, with nothing. But it was good. It held my attention. I didn't fall asleep, which is crazy. Any movie after eight, I always fall asleep. And this movie started at 7.50. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. You know, just to touch back really quick on the whole changing gyms thing. It's not like I'm never gonna go to Alpha Land again. I was just there. It's just when I'm having days that I just need to not be in that environment of influencers and you know, people possibly knowing me at a higher chance, you know, I have to protect myself and my energy. And if that means going to something like Lifetime, which is, you know, pretty close to me, then I'm gonna do that. So um, right now I think I'm gonna utilize Lifetime in the morning for cardio. Um, and they have a sauna, so I want to kind of dabble in that. Uh, but, you know, Lifetime is kind of a journey in its own because it's just 
it's a more of a public gym and public gyms are very different um but different people i walk through the fucking bathroom and there's just naked people all over the place they just don't really give a shit you know on their phone sitting there just titties out so you know kudos to them for just being so confident in their body but um just a little different so i don't know i'm up for the challenge i'm ready to kind of find a little bit of a new environment but still have alpha land there so yeah hopefully this all made sense i mean if you are like i said earlier in the video if you're struggling with being in an environment where your gym maybe is not the best environment for you, then try a new gym. You know, it's not gonna hurt. You never know, just go get a day pass or go just do a trial and see what it's about and you know, see if there's a better environment for there for you out there. But I'm gonna make some steak and potatoes, my fave meal. I head out a plane tomorrow. Where am I going? I guess you guys will see in the next vlog. But other than that, I love you guys. Remember, smash that like button, subscribe. We're almost 18K, which means then we're 2,000 away from 20K, which is the next big goal. Can't do it without you guys. I appreciate every single one of you who does comment, like, um, and subscribe because it does mean a lot to me and it helps this family grow. And it helps me continue to do what I'm doing. So I love you guys. Remember, control, controllable. Believe in it. But control, controllable. <laughs> believe in yourself. It's after that battle. Peace, bitch. You want some potatoes? What's up, the fun? What's up, the fun?